the, in the Bible, uh, Jesus gave the example of baptism uh, <coughs> through his own life, and he also did some baptizing. Um, the Bible says in Matthew 28 that we were to go into all the world and we were to baptize those in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is actually a symbol symbolizing the fact that we are coming. Uh, Baptism doesn't save us, but it shows the world that we are saved. It is really an act of obedience. One thing that we, we have been learning about in the church is that when we come to Christ, we need to die to ourselves. And there's a lot of humbling events that we go through. And baptism is not only an act of obedience, it's also an act of humbling. Why should I do this? Because Jesus says so. It's that simple. Why should I go through baptism? Because he says so. And so today we're going to be baptized, as the Bible says in Colossians uh, 2.12, uh, 2, for when you are baptized, you are buried with Christ. In baptism, you are also raised with Christ. So we have uh, three people that are going to be baptized today. Come Fultz, Peyton and Odie, and Jerry Keene are going to be baptized today. You three will come forward, and we're going to take our positions. And uh, Pastor Chad's going to do the first baptism with Hunter Fultz. Is this on? Is this? And uh, then the elders are going to be assisting here as well. Jerry King, uh, you've uh, asked Jesus into your heart, and uh, as an act of obedience, uh, we're going to baptize you at this time. Jerry King, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
to we're going to come over here and we're going to have prayer for these individuals. Obedience is the key. Obey Christ even when it doesn't make sense. Uh, we, we still obey Him. So let's, let's just pray. Father, I come at this time and I, I pray for Hunter that Lord you be with him. And I just pray your blessing upon him as he continues to walk in obedience to you. I pray for Jerry as well. May your blessing be upon her. And Lord, may you continue to guide her life as well. And faith for Peyton, I pray, Lord, that you continue to touch her as well. Guide and direct them all. We pray this in the name of Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Isn't it great to have baptisms here? When we first got here, we didn't have the baptismal. And uh, we were actually going in, uh, in the ponds. And, and then we made one. And uh, I still remember when uh, um, uh, Dick Shoemaker came running out from the basement and screamed at me. He says, we are getting rid of that thing because it was raining in the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we got rid of that. We, we uh, went ahead and bought that. And, and uh, those who contributed to that, I'll tell you, God bless you because what a, what a wonderful thing to be able to have baptism in the middle of our worship service. So God bless you all. And uh, we will be continuing to, to pray for all of you.